Hello, I'm Troy Parker, president of Innovative Labor and Cleaning, and this is another Mental Health Monday. In the last video, I talked about mental diet, and some people have asked me some questions about, well, how do you change your mental diet and things like that. Now, I'll be honest, I'll tell you a little story. Back, this is prior before I went to prison. It didn't dawn on me then when it happened. It wasn't until I was in prison and looked back, I saw after I had been started reading spiritual books and personal development books, how I had let things that I had seen on television shape my life. All right, back when the TV show The Sopranos came on, Tony Soprano, he was one of my heroes. I thought, okay, hey, cause I've always liked mob movies, The Godfather, Goodfellas, things like that. But a lot of times what people don't realize is we begin to model ourselves, like I talked about in the video on mental diet, off of rappers, sports athletes, and people we see or hear on the radio or see on TV. I began to watch The Sopranos, and then I would begin to mimic my life after that. I got The Suburban. I started going to strip clubs. I had extramarital affairs, all because I didn't have my own ideal of, okay, hey, this is how a husband, father is supposed to operate. I was mimicking what I saw on TV. Now I was younger then, probably in my 30s, but I should have known better. But programming on TV, you'll find, is very strong. And if you're not conscious of it, it begins to shape your life. Now, you might laugh and say, well, golly, that's stupid. If it was stupid, how come you think companies spend billions of dollars selling you products on television. Back in the day, they knew smoking was bad for you, but they showed some man smoking. He had beautiful women around him. And so you would equate in your mind, if you smoke, you're cool, you'll have the women. How many car commercials? You see the gentleman in the car, then you see him with beautiful women, and you would think, okay, if I got that car, I'm gonna get these type of women. Back then, I'm talking about the 60s. I was born in 66, so 70s, 80s, this is the way advertising worked. Now, it works a little differently, but it still usually equates you having some product, and if you have this product, you'll have this lifestyle. And that's the farthest thing from the truth. Because from there, my life went totally downhill. I ended up going to prison. Then my wife finds out about the extramarital affairs. All the people in the strip club that you were in the strip club with, they're no longer around. So you find out that this is just a false promise. Now, I was in prison three years or so before I looked back. And then I started asking myself, well, why did I do those things? And that's why I always tell people, you have to ask yourself the why question. Either why you want to do something or why you did it. And my problem was I identified with that character, but it's by choice. It wasn't because I had to. I was just like, well, hell, I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do with myself? I, I had a business, I was making some money, and I'm like, okay, well, this is how I was supposed to act. But many times the things we see, and this is that mental diet, and that's why I'm giving you a real life example, where I took in something mentally that was no good for me and then acted on it, and it caused great damage. No different than I talked about with the rap music. If young people today hear these type things and they hear that if you have an issue with someone, you go get a pistol or you do some type of violent act, it's programmed into their mind. That's why a lot of fights happen in prison because young guys come in and they have this idea that if we're disrespected, as they say, then we're supposed to do this. They never stop to think, what is the consequences of doing that? They could be hurt, they could hurt someone else, and plus, whatever the punishment happens to be after the whole fight is over. Now, out in the public, you see the consequences of it. Someone gets a gun, goes, shoot someone else, oops, they missed that person and hit some innocent person. I mean, now you have a six-year-old young man, took a gun to school, shot his teacher. Now, I'm not saying the teacher shooting part is coming from the rap music, but I'm saying when you perpetrate violence or glorify it, or just like when I was watching The Sopranos, they were glorifying that lifestyle, people pick up on it, I did, and I'll admit it, and then they try to live that out. That's why what goes into your mind is so important. So things you can do. What I do is I try to watch programming that doesn't have things like that. We watch shows that don't talk about extramarital affairs, no cussing. Now you're probably gonna say, well, hell, you can't really watch much. That is honest. 
I mean, because I really don't watch a lot of TV. I know when I first met my wife now, she was like, I had a TV, but I rarely ever turned it on. I don't watch the news a lot because the news will just keep showing you the same negative story over and over and over again. If you ever notice, you start watching it and I didn't, this didn't dawn on me till I was in the county jail because they would leave it on the news channel and you'd see the news the first hour from eight to nine. Then the next hour, another newscaster would come in and they would tell you the same damn story the newscaster told you from the last hour. But they would always claim, and this is how they get you, they say breaking news. But it's not breaking because you just heard about it from eight to nine. Now it's nine to 10. And then when you get to 12 to one, it's still breaking news, but it's the same damn breaking news from eight to nine. So it's really not breaking news. It's just a way to constantly keep putting in there whatever the negative story is. This person shot this person. We're headed for a recession. They've been talking about a recession for months now. People are starting to get ready. Okay, we're gonna have a recession. This guy said it. Jamie Dimon said we're gonna have it. It's going to be like a hurricane. Or this person who used to be the member of the Fed, he said we're gonna have a recession. So now everyone starts saving their money, stops spending and whatnot. Then you start to see the signs of recession and people are gonna say, well, you know what? They were right, but were they really? You've basically spewed it out for months and months and months and months until people started believing it. And then when they believe it, what do they do? They act on it. So watch the things you put into your mind. Like I said, watch what you watch on TV. Now there's some shows you're probably just not gonna stop watching, but don't believe they don't have an effect on you. Cause anything you watch repetitively does. Anything you listen to does. Most of us will identify, that's why we watch the shows. You identify like, hey, I'm like that. And then you start thinking like the person or whatnot. Trust me, if you just stop and Google marketing or the effect of television programming, it's out there on Google. Companies would not spend this type of money if it didn't get you to buy the product. Just keep that in mind. Why do you think a Super Bowl ad costs millions and these companies pay it? Because they know if you see the product and it makes you laugh or feel a certain way, most people are going to act off of emotion and say, hey, I'm going to buy the product. Things that can help you. Watching the TV programs that you watch. If you want to watch the news, watch for one hour a day and that's it. Then pick some other shows. There's cooking shows, there's home improvement shows. There's no cussing, no violence, no extramarital affairs. Now a lot of people have said, oh my God, that's like driving in the slow lane. You have to decide what it is you want in life. If you want that type of lifestyle that you've had, then keep doing the stuff you're doing. If you want a different lifestyle, you're gonna to have to do different things. You can't keep doing the same things and then think something's gonna change. It never happens. And even those people who happen to get a change, like people who win the lottery, you see they lose the money quickly because their mindset is the same. If you don't change the mind, your life is not going to change. The same with music. If you wanna to listen to rap music or whatever, listen to an hour a day and then switch to something else. Rap music in clean versions. There's all type of things. There's books on tape. And if you want to learn something, listen to a book. I always tell everyone, if you're sitting there listening to something all day long, you can damn near earn a degree over months just listening to books on tape or, or learn a skill or lectures, TED Talks, things like that. Well, okay, I'm gonna listen to a little music now. Then I'm gonna take the next two hours and listen to a book on tape. Then I'll listen to some music, but I'll listen to something clean or another genre of music. The other thing is who you hang around. I mean, look at the people around you. If they don't have any more than you or less, it's highly unlikely they're gonna be able to help you get to where you wanna go. And that's one of the biggest problems that people have. People think they're gonna hang around the same type of people and then advance forward. It's not going to happen. Because those people that you hang around are gonna want you to stay there. Like they say, misery likes company. So if you have guys and you see them, you go through various neighborhoods, I don't care what color you are, you'll see guys just sitting around, either they'll be at the bar, on the porch, out front on the stoop. And then when you start talking, hey, I'm gonna go back to school, they'll be like, man, ain't nothing in school, you're gonna have all this debt. They'll immediately talk you out of it. And then you'll be right back there again a year later, sitting with them, drinking or doing whatever. Change those that you hang around. Find people who are doing what you want to do and start becoming friends or getting to know them. Join groups that are going places and doing things. Now I'm not saying you can't talk to anybody you used to hang around, but you have to vet your friends just like you vet the TV shows and the music you listen to. It's in everything. Whatever you let into your environment will affect you. Those are a few tips or a few things I would suggest to help you change your mental diet. And that is what you listen to, what you watch on TV, people you hang around, books you read. These type things are what goes in and then will grow out. 
So I hope this helped and as always remember, it's up to you to make your life matter.